Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for clicking on. It's over the hump Wednesday. It's our update. Buy gas. Buy eggs. Buy milk. Why? We'll talk about that coming up. Let's get the update started. This is our first look at uh, potential weather for the upcoming solar eclipse which is now five days away. Uh, you can see the path of the eclipse here. We're not going to play the video, but the path of the eclipse here. And uh, from the state of Washington to the state of Florida, you can see that uh, if you're in Washington and uh, you're looking at the eclipse, you're going to get to see about 20%, about 40% here, 60% here, 80%. And then... Uh, this is, of course, the path of totality out to 80, 60, 40, and 20. Now, major cloud cover and the potential for storms. Um, again, this is six days out, so lots can change. But at the moment, it looks like Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas uh, are going to be under cloud cover and uh, under the threat of potential storms, while Indiana and Ohio are going to be relatively clear as is Maine. So this much anticipated event, um, local weather is going to play a part in it, at least somewhere in the country. Now this is, could all totally be reversed by the time we get to next Tuesday. But again, uh, we're starting out here and that's where it stands as of right now. Yesterday we reported that there was an earthquake in uh, Taiwan. I told you my first thought was, um, was it natural or was it a direct energy weapon an, a, a attack? And uh, we're going to talk about that in just a moment. But first, I want to I want to give you a visual here. Um, this is Hawaii over here, Alaska up here, the coast, West Coast and across the country, uh, down through Central America, Cuba and uh, the Caribbean. And then the edge of uh, South America. What we're looking at is what happened when the earthquake happened in Taiwan, the 7.5 earthquake. It is a big earthquake. And I'm showing you this so that you can show how the vibrations, even though we don't detect them, uh, how the earth is interconnected. And you'll see the notifications start lighting up as the various um national geographic survey sites begin to get notification and this is basically a line across to uh to where taiwan is you might think of you know a straight shot across to, uh when you take in the curvature of the earth so uh, I just found this interesting that this is a really good visual of how um, of how earthquakes, even though they're on the other side of the globe, they are uh, they are felt uh, and sensed, uh, detected, if you would, by monitors. And uh, the number of monitors we have up here in Alaska, and you'll notice over here the number of monitors we have uh, on this side of the country, which um, again is not known for earthquakes, but as we've shown in past videos is known for faults and uh, justifiably monitored in my opinion anyway. Okay, this came in uh, this afternoon. The New York County Supreme Court has rejected Donald Trump's uh, filing of his motion for uh, uh, to accept the bond, they they've rejected his 175 million dollar bond on the grounds there were there were three uh, um, mistakes that led to the misfiling and uh, including not including a current financial statement. Um, so. They've got to refile the document and it's got to be refiled by tomorrow at the end of business, Thursday, the end of business. Um, 
This came in 10 hours ago. 1,500 soldiers from the French Foreign Legion are being prepared for deployment to Ukraine uh, in this month of April. And um, you can see it here being announced. A battalion of and tactical group is uh, the group of, brought in a state of full combat readiness for the operational deployment to the Ukrainian battle theater. Uh, so France is planning on uh, sending in their foreign legion. Uh, I love you, Donald Trump, quote unquote, is what the Navy vet who rammed an FBI field office with an SUV on Monday posted. And uh, as well as other pro-Trump pro messages, QAnon conspiracies and claims he wanted to join a militia in uh, social media accounts. And uh, again, Chris and I reported on this Monday night and both of us asked, you know, why? Why would they? Well, evidently, this is a, a fanatical supporter and lover of Donald Trump. Um, our next story, this kind of there are there are those that um, are fearful of chemtrails and what they may do so much so that. There are states that are putting up uh, specific legislation that this will not take place over their over their land. And there are those that say they're just jet trails, they're normal jet trails. Well, this is a video uh, and they're saying that no wonder they're stopping production of the super zoom camera. Um, and this is alleged proof that uh, something is spraying out of this United States Air Force plane that is propeller driven uh not not driven by jet um and there are some there are some videos online of whistleblowers if you will showing what has actually been going on for those that do care to look but again this is uh when you see those trails staying up there for long long periods of time it's um it's not how it used to be uh i'm old enough to remember things the way they used to be um this is going around the internet and um well play the uh we're not going to play the audio um you can find it if you so desire this is a reminder as well that coming up on April 10th, four days after the eclipse, the movie Civil War comes out, if things aren't strange enough. And this basically is um, someone's call for, again, a states that um, were the Confederacy, nine states that were the Confederacy. And... Uh, Here are some of the facts. It would it would be the third together, and that it would have to include Virginia, by the way. So I don't know if that if that would be the case. Um, they would have a lot of things, and um, they would also lose a lot of things, including protection uh, from nuclear weapons um, but this is uh, this is indeed out there um, and again as we do on here showing you this because just trying to give you something to think about and if, if you don't want to think about that think just think you don't even think about civil war. Don't even think about it. Seriously, don't think about civil war. Just think about the fact that there are a whole lot of people that are really pressing to have what you just saw happen, happen. To have states leave the United States. Um, and to me, that's just... Uh, that's it's more than troubling. It is it is sad. It is um, it is a sign that we need to get our we need to get our crap together. We need to hold our country together. We need to revive our 
citizen citizenry. We need to start talking to and listening to each other. Not not attacking, not screaming, not yelling, not trying to be the loudest and the and the most looked at, but trying to be the most rational and the most thoughtful. Okay. Out of the pulpit. The CIA has informed Israel that Iran will, will attack the Jewish state sometime in the next 48 hours. This came out, came out six hours ago. Um, and this comes from a correspondent on the 14th channel of uh, this is from Israeli TV. Scenarios refer to a combined attack by a swarm of drones and cruise missiles that will be launched directly fr from Iran. Um, Again, as I've said the past couple of nights since Israel took out the embassy in Damascus, um, there will be an attack. There will be no doubt Iran has done it, but it will not be to such an extreme that Israel will attempt to take out the Iranian nuclear program. And... Uh, We'll see if that comes to fruition here in the next 48 hours. Um, Israel's statement from six hours ago is that we are being attacked on all sides. We have to go to war. Israel's defense minister says, quote, the war on the northern border, which is Lebanon and um, um, will include Iran. The war on the northern border will pose a difficult challenge for us, but it will be disastrous for Hezbollah and Lebanon. Uh, we are expanding our operation against Hezbollah. So Israel is uh, preparing for more attacks on Lebanon and probably on Syria uh, off of the Golan Heights. Um, and that was in response to uh, Ayatollah Khomeini. His... Uh, Statement was Israel will be slapped. The defeat of the Zionist regime in Gaza will continue, and this regime will be close to decline and dis disillusion. Um, also, coming up shortly after the April, the US is going to face extremely rare cicada geddon two generations of over 100 trillion cicadas will emerge together for the first time since 1803. And that will happen shortly after the April 8th solar eclipse. Um, as and they come in mass. Um, and if you're, if, if you're a biblical per person, you giant Wisconsin rally. Uh, Trump asked the cameras to pull back like for him. Um, they do, and, and they're just start, starting to pull back. Like now, I've run ahead a little bit. That is, <laughs> yeah, you can hear him. It. Look at that, they just that keep that. You can tell that, um, well, it, you know, there just aren't a lot of people there. Um, we're all getting conned. We're all getting played. This uh, this giant and um, encompassing political theater of of campaigns and and rallies and trials and uh, it's it's all a giant distraction. Neither one of them are going to be president. I've said it many times. Um, Israel has opened bomb shelters in Tel Aviv, fearing the Iranian missile strikes. This is uh, this is not a picture from today. This is a picture uh, from earlier when um, 
Gaza. They were firing missiles out of Gaza, but they've opened these shelters back up now in anticipation of uh, Iran's retribution to Israel for the um, dismantling via missile of their mission, their uh, embassy in Damascus. And every country's embassy, the United States embassy in Haiti, for example, that is United States soil. That is United States territory. That's United States property. Any embassy, that's the way it is with all countries. The Russian embassy in the United States is Russian property. Uh, demonstrators stormed the Knesset uh, live on air to demand and the overthrow of the Israeli government. And uh, you can see of uh, the Knesset getting, get, trying to separate themselves from the, uh, from the demonstrators coming in. Um, this is like a, a miniature January 6th, if you will, if you want to, if you want to, a reference these are uh, these are people off the streets that are demanding for netanyahu to step down and have taken it into their own hands and these these people are going to pay a lot of um, blinken's boeing 737 boeing 737 plane suffers a mechanical failure en route to NATO meetings. If you're going to fly, check the planes. I know you can't do anything about, I mean, I'm not talking about, you know, doing a check before you take off. I'll check the engines and stuff. Try to fly by Airbus or try to fly by um, something other than a Boeing plane because just too much going on. And and we don't like coincidences, especially all of this. Um, a brief, a brief pause here while I get a, a quick drink. This is um, this is a scene from a movie several years ago. It seems like it might have been taken directly from the World Economic Forum Forum Playbook. Malcolm, you have a lot on your mind. The sustainable population of our planet is no more than 500 million. And we're willing to kill 7 billion. Well, most of those lives aren't worth living. The mass of humanity in Africa, India, China, they live in squalor. They'd be better off dead. The world would be better off without them. First. Yes, well, as our friend Henry Kissinger said, a strong America is the only thing standing in the way of a new ground now. Under the UN banner, the country only needs a little chaos. The American people are resilient. What's to come if the citizens rise up? Yes, not well, the greatest acting. Parents see their children starving, and families all, all the way to FEMA camps expect some resistance at first, but the vanity of nationalism will quickly fade. The people will beg for visa, but the birth pangs change. <laughs> birth of a new world order. So it's not a new idea, all right? It's just um, they're finally implementing their plans, allegedly. China possibly has the technology of using seismic um, survey vessels to create earthquakes. <gasps> shocked. I'm shocked, I say. I'm not really. We've been talking about this for a few years. Uh, the artificial earthquake te technology was possibly used against Taiwan at least twice last year. And uh, you can see a seismic survey vessel uh, that is actually releasing sound waves down to the, let me pull it up here a little bit so you can see, 
down to the bedrock, which will bounce back up underneath Taiwan and cause instability, um, allegedly. And yes, an earthquake with a magnitude of 7.5 occurred near Taiwan. Tsunami threat declared for your Japanese southern islands of Okinawa. That was all yesterday. And uh, we showed you those um, we showed you those images. And with that, I say thank you very much for watching the Over the Hump Wednesday update. Now, uh, a couple of things that aren't on the scroll that I do want to talk about. Congresswoman Lorraine Boebert has, uh, was hospitalized and uh, an emergency surgery for rare disease. By gas, because the United States Petroleum Emergency Reserve will run out in 17 days. Um, and it's not sure that it will be replenished. That's what's been keeping our, our fuel prices as reasonable as they've been. I'm not going to say low because they haven't been low, but as United States emergency supply runs out. That was the, the supply that we normally have to make sure we can get through war. New World Order plan of the of the United States has to go out first. Maybe it's not a conspiracy theory. Maybe it's being enacted. At any rate, the price of gas will go up probably 40 to $50 per barrel um, from, from where it's at now. So buy gas. The, the, one of the things I think the, the elite that are trying to eliminate the 8.5 billion of us that are here at their inconvenience allegedly the avian flu uh, that seems to be kicking off all over um, for those that are pay paying attention if you're not paying attention you're probably not aware but the avian flu has not only been found in birds thus the name avian uh, been, been found in chickens so eggs Um, so buy eggs, buy chicken, put it in the freezer if you like chicken, because um, chicken herds are, or chicken uh, flocks are going to be called um, dairy cows are going to be called. They burn up a whole bunch of farmland in Texas. It's going to be tough to feed the United States, let alone help feed the world, in my opinion. And I know that that's, that's, uh, uh, that's not all rainbow sunshine and butterflies, but that's where we're at chip cookies. Thanks for watching. See you next time.